The goal for Force Unleashed 2 on all platforms really is to put you in the place of Starkiller and make you feel like a super powerful Jedi, uh, really in every sense of the word. For the Force Unleashed 2, we actually focus on two things. One is a core story, and the core story across all the platforms is pretty much the same thing. But when it came to the gameplay experience, we wanted to make sure that each platform was treated with its uniqueness. Each platform has strengths, and we wanted to play off of all those strengths so that each one had a way to express how to be the most badass Jedi in the universe. <laughs> So for example, for the Xbox 360, or the PlayStation 3, or the PC, we really focused on improving the previous experience. One of the things that we added, for example, is a brand new feature called Force Fury, where you can actually grip ATSDs and crush them and turn them into bombs. All Force powers have received this new skin to them, so they all feel brand new. We've also added new Force powers, like Mind Trick, where you can literally trick your enemy into becoming your ally and having them fight against each other. Another feature that we added is Dual Saber. The cool thing about that feature is that it really allows us to have different kind of combos, large sweeping and much more acrobatic. We have a much better rendering system, so the view and the colors of the world are richer than ever. And on top of that, we actually added a brand new audio engine. So the visuals plus the new audio engine really make you feel like the force powers have improved. <laughs> Additionally, we really wanted to make sure that you are encouraged to destroy the worlds around you. Because it's not just about attacking the enemies, it's about the environmental destruction that makes you feel like your force powers matter no matter where you are. One of the cool advantages of the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 is that the power behind the engines are so high that you can use technology like DMM and Euphoria and Havoc and literally couple them all together to give you that most fantastic Jedi experience ever. On the Force Unleashed 2 on the Wii, we really want to take advantage of what the Wii has to offer, and really that is controls. The great thing about the Wii remote is that you can interact directly with the screen, and uh, we design the controls around being able to precisely control your powers, specifically force grip and force throw. So you can use the Wii remote, you can use the UV pointer, and you can grab specific guys on the screen and actually carry them around using the Wii remote itself. You can use it for your force powers directly, it's very precise in that way. And then we have a lot of the other powers mapped onto it. It's easy to feel powerful in this game. So in the Force Unleashed 2, of course, Starkiller has dual lightsabers. Um, and that really opens up the possibility of doing crazy lightsaber combos. Mind trick on the Wii, um, it's very interesting because you can actually use the Wii remote to paint the targets that you want to mind trick. So you use the UV pointer and you say, I want to mind trick that guy and that guy, and they actually will fight with you. You will shoot your friends. Fighting is the only thing I've ever been good for. One of the features we're really excited about is the four-player multiplayer. You can get four people playing simultaneously as different Star Wars characters. So you can have Darth Vader fighting Starkiller, for example, and you can have Darth Vader, you know, choking Starkiller, and as soon as he gets out of it, Starkiller hits him with lightning, and you get two other players jumping in and using their powers, so it gets to be pretty crazy, but in a really fun way. Force Rage is a little different on the Wii. Basically the way it works is you, you build up a Force Rage meter, and then you go into Rage mode. And what that does is it puts you in a kind of bullet time, slows the game down, and it allows you to use the Wii remote to paint different enemies. And then before Rage wears off, you can one-shot all those enemies. So it's a super powerful force move. Force Rage is an exclusive power on the Wii. One power that you don't get on the other consoles that you do get on the Wii is Force Sight. It actually allows you to see through objects. Um, it's almost like x-ray vision, if you will. And we tied it into a lot of different things in the game. So there's puzzles that use it. And you can also use it on bosses to see where their weak points are. So it's definitely a really cool, unique feature for this platform.
Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2, what's really special about it is a few things. It's, it's combining really over-top force power along with a great story set in the reimagined Star Wars universe. So those two things will carry through a, no matter which platform you go to. We've taken what's special about the DS and really developed a game unique to that platform. Using the stylus, a simple control of the stylus, you can chain together some pretty complex combination in a very intuitive manner. So whether it's using melee combat or using the stylus for more ranged attacks, some of the greater epic force powers. Uh, one of my favorite ones is being when you're in force fury mode, you can just do down, 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 tap, and you can unleash the force repulse. With any handheld system, one of the, the key things to really master is to allow for the player to have that jump in, jump out experience. So you can go in, have a, have a really fun time really quickly, and be able to go back to what else they're doing. So all the great powers that we've put into the Force Unleashed 2 in the home console will also be available on the handheld Nintendo DS. Whether it is now with the dual lightsabers, or some of the great Force powers like Force Lightning, Force Push, Force Grip, Saber Throw and of course Force Fury are all in Nintendo DS version as well.